on this week's episode of Bayou Wild TV. There's a lot of Louisiana one can explore in 24 hours or less. So join us as we visit Louisiana's Outback. We travel along the Creole Nature Trail in Cameron Parish, stopping along the way to explore wildlife, scenery, and celebrate history. Oh, and do a little fishing too. It's another Bayou Wild adventure that starts in Sportsman's Paradise. Every day, we strive to preserve traditions that have spanned generations. Around every turn of the bayou, Mother Nature reveals unique people, places, and experiences. And the bounty of animals and fish. Well, in Louisiana, we just call that land yak. I'm Don Dubuque. I'm Chris Lacop. I'm Captain Martha Spencer. Join us as we document the adventure sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. Today we're traveling down in Cameron Parish. Our final destination of this 24-hour Louisiana travel trip is Hackberry Rod and Gun, where we're going to do some inshore brackish water fishing. You know, Calcasieu is kind of unique uh, in itself because it's it's a landlocked lake that's surrounded by hundreds of thousands of acres of marsh, and it, it, that, that estuary feeds the lake. But along the way, along this Creole Nature Trail, we're going to make several stops, some very beautiful scenery, some interesting sights, and even an auctioneer. So stick around. Nature Trail Highway is one of very few in the United States. It's actually a loop that circles around Big Lake or Calcasieu Lake and along the way some beautiful scenery and some very interesting sights to stop by and take in. It's easy to see how one can get lost in their itinerary when planning a trip along the Creole Nature Trail. It's 180 miles of road winds through small towns, beaches, coastal wetlands, wildlife refuges, rippling marshes, and scenic boardwalks. It's sometimes described as one of America's untamed natural wonders, with stops along the way of picturesque beauty and historical significance. Today is, uh, we are celebrating 100 years of Rockefeller Refuge being donated to the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. If you travel along this highway, along the Gulf, or along the Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge, you'll see these beautiful majestic oaks here on the auctioneer. Now, not only are these oaks providing food for wildlife, but because they're on a little bit higher ground, they also provide some protection from storm surge. And they also are a great place to put a road, hunting and fishing camps, and maybe a home. Whenever I'm passing through or stopping in southwest Louisiana, I always try to stop at Hackberry Rod and Gun. Oh, good, good 
<laughs> and you didn't want the net. Coming up, they say there's a shortage on flounder, but not in Hackberry. Not today. <laughs> not today. We got them going. Closed captioning made possible by Explore Kayak Adventure Company. Fishing, sightseeing, to photography tours, everything to make your paddling adventure happen. See Explore Kayak Adventure Company on Facebook and Instagram. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Looking for cleaner energy? Propane can do that. When you are cooking with clean, affordable propane, you're cooking with gas. In the wintertime, nothing heats a home like Louisiana propane. And when you need hot water, propane's got you covered. Oh, and you won't regret that propane generator when the power goes out. Fuel for our future. I'm Miss Louisiana Courtney Hammonds. For more information and to find a propane dealer near you, visit louisianapropane.com. watching Bayou Wild TV, award-winning outdoor programming. on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or visit the website BayouWildTV.com to watch past episodes. Summer is here. Do you have your star ticket? The tags are out, the fish are biting, and the CCA Star Tournament is underway. With over $500,000 in prizes, there's a category for everyone. And plenty of time to still get your ticket. Sign up today at ccastar.com. Waited out a little frontal system, a late frontal system that kind of moved up from the Gulf and kind of left us with a little bit of window of opportunity before the next batch gets here. What are we going to do today, Kurt? Uh, uh, we're going to head to Marsh. We're going to see if this weather didn't, hope it didn't mess them up. I don't think it will uh, for, for where we're going. And we'll get back here and see if we can find some in the morning. You need to find clean water. You got to find some clean water. We'll hunt for it. We woke up this morning to a horrendous thunderstorm, but it moved off pretty quickly. We decided to try to make a sneak out. And one of the really good things about fishing in the Big Lake Calcasieu area is there's such diverse habitat. You can get back in the marsh and get out of the rough, dirty water when necessary, but it's also there with a lot of reef fishing and also some shoreline fishing too. You know, Calcasieu is kind of unique uh, in itself because it's, it's a landlocked lake that's surrounded by hundreds of thousands of acres of marsh. And it, it, that, that estuary feeds the lake. And, uh, you, know, it, it's, you know, I started guiding in 1979. And, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of changes over the year. I've seen changes in habitat, which is probably our biggest issue nowadays. This spring is the first spring in five years we ha haven't been flooded out. We started off uh, going through one of the weirs off of the ship channel. 
into the marsh, found some clear water, and first fish of the day was a flounder, which was really a blessing. Oh, good, <laughs> good save. <laughs> and you didn't want the net. <laughs> well, Captain Kirk wanted to put a dollar on the first fish, and I kind of hesitated for a minute, and I said, uh, after this one bit, I said, well, I think it was 20 is what I heard. <laughs> but he called the fish. He said, right where you cast, right there along that shoreline, there you might get a flounder. And sure enough, we got a flounder. Now the flounder is, is a highly sought after fish, but they're not very easy to target. And lately we've been getting some reports, Wildlife and Fisheries has said that along with speckled trout, we've got a, a severe uh, decline in the population of flounder. And if something isn't changed, uh, we might have to make some changes in the regulations. Although they say it's not overfishing, it's environmental and habitat problems. But I, I attribute it to the floods. Uh, I really think that's had a lot to do with the speckled trout fishing and the flounder fishing uh, over the last five years. And, uh, but there, I mean, we've had a great spring this year on, uh, on flounder. But today there was no problem. We found some very nice flounders. Another flounder in the net. Where is it? And occasionally okay. you will find flounders here in the Calcasieu area, as you will in the Pontchartrain estuary. But the flounders are always welcome in our boat and also in Kirk Stansel's boat. Yeah, it still produces good speckled trout, without a doubt. I mean, like right now, I mean, I've seen one almost seven pounds come to the dock this spring. Uh, quite a few four and five pounders, which is a nice trout anywhere you go. But uh, we don't see the big ones like we saw back uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s. Baby, fish on. Let's see. Just in case. That's, right. oh, that's a trout. We don't need no net on him. Okay. He's, he's good. Right. He I'm was impersonating man. a flounder. Hey, hey, you're a you know what man. the penalty for that is? What? Death. <laughs> death, <laughs> by, death. Death by Crisco. <laughs> <laughs> and then picking up speckled trout. A nice amount of speckled trout throughout the day. Uh, first of all, we were finding them where there was some moving water around some points. Then we started looking for birds found the telltale birds, giving away the speckled trout, made a couple of quick casts, and made a real nice fill in the ice chest today. These birds are going down right over here. There's, what it is, there's trout chasing shrimp to the surface, and the birds are getting uh, the shrimp that the trout are chasing up, so shrimp doesn't stand a chance. And we should get in there, it ought to be some hot and heavy action. It's, if you see birds working, you know there's fish there. But uh, I prefer artificial, especially spring, early summer. Now, when you get into June, July, when it gets real hot, it, a lot of times you, you need bait to catch the fish. Oh, it, generally in spring through the early summer, and then in the fall, starting in September, when the when the shrimp migration starts in uh, late September through October, November. That's, uh, and you know the birds are chasing. They're after the shrimp that the fish are chasing to the surface of some kind. Now you got to, you know, be, me being on the water every day. I know what areas, where there's smaller ones, where the nicer ones are, where there's gaff top, where there's not. So uh, I have a tendency to pass a lot of birds up that people want me to stop and fish, but uh, you know, I know that area, it's, it, chances are it's gonna be what you don't want. Hackberry Rod and Gun is an institution here in the Calcasieu Big Lake area. Uh, Terry Shaughnessy was the founder and his son-in-law Kirk Stansel and his brothers have really turned this into one of Louisiana's premier facilities, not just for fishing, but a lot of duck hunting too. And in 1978, he leased his first duck land and started with five blinds that year. And 79 is when I just decided I'd, I was having more fun fishing than going to school. So I, I started fishing every day, you know, and we started two boats and and then we got more duck blinds, more duck property, and so today, you know, we're, we're hunting uh, right at 12,000 acres total. We hunt 15 duck blinds on it, uh, have 15 full-time guides, and, you know, that's where we are today. It's still a family business. Their motto reads, you should have been here yesterday. But in truth, every day is a great day when visiting a family-owned sporting haven like Hackberry Rod and Gun. For 49 years, people have been flocking to what's touted as the speckled trout capital of the world. But as time went on, the lodge evolved into a duck hunter's dream destination. That's what we do. We love what we do, and uh, we've been doing it a long time. And 
you know, I, I love my job. And it's not just Louisianians that stop by here. They'll get an awful lot of traffic out of the neighboring Texas because it's so close and we've got such great fishing and hunting. But uh, if you learn the reefs in the open water on your calm days, where you get out there and fish, uh, that, that's, the best, that's the best way to fish cow the open water reefs. Or, uh, you know, hire a guy. They can show you some spots and show you some techniques. Because, you know, everywhere you go on the coast, it's a different technique. It's effective, and you know, and you know, we get a lot of guys in Texas that come over here, and you know, their techniques aren't as effective. Uh, just for whatever reason, I guess maybe it's what, the way we do it, we're confident in it. Texans do love to wade fish now. They came over here and showed these coon asses something. <laughs> <laughs> If you're lucky enough to bag a deer or a hog this season, bring it here to Double D. Double D processes hogs and exotic game and guarantees your product is always the meat you brought to Double D. Double D meats in Bogalusa, home of country smoked, spicy jalapeno cheddar, and other customized flavors. Bring your deer or your hog here to Double D where you always get your meat back in return. It's worth a drive to Bogalusa from anywhere. Double D. We love our children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength, to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join HuntOfALifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit HuntOfALifetime.org to learn how you can make a difference. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. Louisiana Fish Fry Seafood Boil has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. Louisiana Fish Fry brand Seafood Boil. Find the yellow bag and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. We're driving right now along the Creole Nature Trail Highway. And as you can see, we're coming through some beautiful marshes. Uh, kind of an intermediate marsh. I wouldn't call it exactly fresh, but there's a lot of familiar freshwater vegetation that you see in it. And the closer we get to the Gulf of Mexico, which is not that far away, it'll turn into some saline marshes and then finally beaches and then the offshore salt water of the Gulf of Mexico. I'm standing on the narrow strip but high ground of an oak chenier. This is part of the Creole Nature Trail. This chenier, although not very wide, runs parallel to the shoreline of the Gulf of Mexico. If you look just to the south, you'll see flat marsh. But right here are some majestic oaks that for over a century have withstood the test of some vicious storms. We continue our journey down the Creole Nature Trail, an area rich with wildlife. 
Here at Rockefeller Refuge, a commitment to conservation was made over a century ago, a commitment that is still in effect to this day. Today is, uh, we are celebrating 100 years of Rockefeller Refuge being donated to the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fishing. In the early 1900s, famed businessman and conservationist E.A. McElhinney became interested in 86,000 acres of property in Vermilion and Cameron Parishes, where he had a vision of creating a wildlife refuge. I think if he were here, he would be incredibly proud of what uh, the Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge has meant not only to the state of Louisiana, to the local community, not only to conservation uh, efforts in the area, but really conservation efforts on a worldwide level. So E.A. McElhaney got the Rockefellers to purchase the property and then donate it to the state of Louisiana, which was the Conservation Commission back then, which is now known as Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Because 100 years ago, there were not a lot of people with that kind of conservation pioneering vision to recognize that resources are, are, are not unexploitable and uh, 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 there is a finite amount of resource and that we do have impacts on those resources. Of, of all the bountiful, you know, shrimp, crabs, the birds, the ducks, uh, alligators, uh, it's just such a productive area that, that we have on this property. Uh, it just makes it a crown jewel for the state of Louisiana. Today, Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge additionally serves as an outdoor laboratory for research on marsh management, wildlife, and fisheries. We now have 15 different uh, impoundment complexes where we can manage water levels, we can manage salinity, and by being able to manage, we can even uh, further increase wildlife populations on this refuge. People who come here and visit do the same thing. They fall in love with it. It's a recreational outlet for wildlife watchers, tourists, and all who appreciate nature. Citizens of Louisiana can come here with their families, and, and that's the opportunity I think we oftentimes don't take advantage of. children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength, to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join huntofalifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit huntofalifetime.org to learn how you can make a difference. I'm 
I'm Courtney Hammonds on behalf of the Louisiana Propane Dealers. I've spent hundreds of hours practicing piano. That preparation paid off when I won a couple of talent awards and the title of Miss Louisiana. The Louisiana Propane Dealers are also pretty talented and want you to be prepared for when the power goes out. Visit louisianapropane.com to find out about propane generators and other safety tips. Louisiana Propane, it truly is a fuel for our future. Want to be seen on a Bayou Wild episode? Sign up for our Cajun Invasion Wild Pheasant Hunt in the remote hills of South Dakota in mid-November. Bad River Bucks and Birds provides lodging, meals, transportation, dogs, and bird cleaning. Details at DonTheOutdoorsGuy.com. Summer is here. Do you have your star ticket? The tags are out, the fish are biting, and the CCA Star Tournament is underway. With over $500,000 in prizes, there's a category for everyone. And plenty of time to still get your ticket. Sign up today at CCAStar.com. Our 24-hour trip to Louisiana's Outback is a reminder of the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage found every day in our own backyard. While we don't get out to this part of the state as often as we'd like, we're certainly going to try to get back here. If not for another fishing trip, certainly be back during the duck season because we're looking forward to another great hunt like last year. We leave wanting more, wanting to see more wildlife, explore more remote areas, and catch more fish. The more we venture out into different areas of Louisiana, the more we are reminded why we truly love this outdoor paradise that we call a Bayou Wild Home.